people have been asking me about bracelets in which hand we should be wearing bracelets what happens if the bracelets break and so many queries regarding these problems that they face every day so i thought i would just make this little video to make you understand as to what you should be doing with your bracelets so the first bracelet i would want to talk to you today about because many people have been asking me about this pearl bracelet now if people are facing issues related to uh, your relationships and if your marriage is not happening if your cash flow is not coming in if you are facing daily conflicts with your partner and if you have bad relations with your mother if you have a lot of overthinking and you know your mind is never still it's always uh, you're emotionally always very low and you are always crying and you know somewhere you can't control your thoughts you always keep thinking about your past lover and that person is not going away from your mind then this is the bracelet for you now pearls are connected to moon energy because you know pearls are found in the sea in the rivers in the sea and they are connected to the water element so when you wear pearls even if you wear real pearls that can also help you so if you don't want to invest in anything that is real like if you if if your pandit ji has told you that you have to wear a pearl or uh, ring or you have to wear or uh, this carrot ka pearl then that becomes a bit expensive so if you don't want to invest so much in the real pearl you can even go for this crystal pearl and these are equally good the only thing is you might have to wear them for a longer period now if your bracelet breaks or if this bracelet is uh, you know you lose it or if it uh, just suddenly uh, you feel it's not working then that is a time you need to discard your bracelets or your stones whatever you have with you you need to keep them uh, near a tree or you can bury them in the soil or you can just put it in the flowing water in a river or a beach or anywhere now sometimes people say that uh, you know my bracelets break very often so when your bracelets break that is a sign that you no longer need it or maybe you need a higher version of that bracelet now pearl bracelets are very beautiful for people who are in the acting field or in any creative field because moon energy helps people to become more creative so if you want to be more creative in your art or if you want if you are a tarot reader or if you are into occult astrology and you want your readings your intuitions to be better then the pearl bracelet is for you so anything any energy that you want in your life now you want the energy of the moon in your life so any energy that you want you need to wear the bracelets in your left hand so wear it in your left hand and avoid wearing it at night and avoid wearing it during a bath or while you're working out because this can lose out on the elasticity and it can break now the next bracelet i want to talk about is the moonstone bracelet which is very similar to the pearl bracelet so i decided to talk about these two because they are very similar in nature now if you feel that the pearl bracelet is not working for you it is not giving you effects you can go for the moonstone bracelet it has almost the same properties it is good for people who have schizophrenia who have mental disorders who have memory problems who have overthinking who have uh, menstrual problems who have imbalance of their uh, hormones or chakras then you can wear the moonstone bracelet so this if you want to discard the overthinking and the menstrual problems or the uh, hormonal problems then you need to wear it in the right hand but if you want the energy of the moon to come to you for creativity and good emotions and good relations with people then you should be wearing it in the left hand so i hope this was informative and this uh, video try to share it with more and more people so that they understand the importance of 
crystals and crystals and gemstones are separate so don't mix them together because gemstones have a higher potent energy and crystals have a lower energy so if you cannot afford gemstones you should go for crystals if you have any other queries please don't hesitate to call us or uh, you can talk to us on any social media platforms we'll be right here to help you